and welcome back to part two. Um, in this part, we're going to go ahead and just finish out this pumpkin here. And we're going to need to do about two more pen uh, uh, masks here. So, as you can see here, I've, I've almost got it. And actually, let's go ahead and just do three. That way we make sure to get this little extra curve in here. Like so. And there we go. We have the basic pumpkin shape. Now let's go ahead and uh, create the stem now. So let's go ahead and create uh, a nice green color we can use. Green is brown. It depends on what you're going for. Start on the blow layer below and then let's go over and zoom in a little bit. And we'll start here and we'll just kind of go like so. We're not going to follow exactly what's there right now. Um, but and then we can just kind of go like so and that's our stem right there okay now that's the basic pumpkin shape now we need to go ahead and do some shadowing um, etch the outer line of it and then we'll go ahead and uh, finish it up with a, a nice design around it. So let's go ahead and first of all grab our pen tool and we're going to start by going ahead and creating a new layer and we're going to simply click once here and then at the bottom and just kind of uh, drag out a nice little shape like so. Now. Once we've done this, we're going to go ahead and click the Add Anchor Point tool, and we're going to add one right here in the middle. And we can then use our Direct Selection tool, uh, I don't know, like so. select this point here and that way we can drag the point itself um, that's not working hang on one second let's go ahead and grab our elliptical marquee tool and we'll do it this way and we're gonna go ahead and do this make sure our color is set to white zero hardness make it kind of big Make sure we're on layer two. Control invert so that we can then paint like so. And once we've done that, we can duplicate that layer a couple times and hide that for now. And we'll go ahead and just kind of bring this opacity down. We're going to go ahead and select out the shape, get rid of the shape around the other side, duplicate this layer. And then we can move it over like so, duplicate it again, and move it over. Combine all those layers, cut out the stuff around them once again so that we're just having the one side. Just fade those out a little bit more like so. We'll take this one back and we're going to flip this one horizontally. And we're actually going to kind of curve this up a little bit as we do this so let's go ahead and create another one here and curve it a little bit more about like so one last time nice like that and then we can combine all those and drop that opacity down as well and now we just need to worry about the center part here which we can take care of with a regular one kind of like so like this create a layer and then we can just drop that opacity way down as well like so duplicate that 
and flip it horizontally. Making sure to do it like this again. And that's not too bad. So we'll go ahead and select out the pumpkin, merge all those layers together, and then delete everything on the outside of the pumpkin selection. Let's go ahead and double click this layer and stroke that with black. And then we're going to do the same for the stem. Like so. Now we still got to do some shadowing on the stem itself. So let's create a new layer above that. And we're going to grab that elliptical marquee tool once again. And we'll just make this a little bit smaller, about like so. Kind of like that. Duplicate that layer. Rotate that as we're going up. And then the last one. Maybe drop this bottom one down here a little bit and separate these a little bit more. Grab that stem, delete everything on the outside of it. like so, and then we'll drop that opacity down as well. So it's about like about like that. And that's not looking too bad. Now that we have that, we need to do some darker shadowing on both of these objects so we can uh, see them better. So we're going to go ahead and I believe we can do it on this layer, um, but it's going to be a little bit tough because there's not much to work with. So we're going to do it on the actual vector layer. Let's duplicate that hide it and then merge this so it's a flat layer and then as you can see here we can kind of burn this uh, but we need to do the shadows Where's it? I believe it's highlights and that way we can kind of 